Hey guys, how's it going? In the last video, we talked about for loops. In this video, I want to cover while loops. While loops are not used a ton in, um, especially in Python, but they're very important and let's talk about them because once you start to understand the concepts of while loop, then it's for loops essentially let you write it in a shortcut. But one thing that's nice about while loops just to give you guys a little intuition of when to use while loops and for loops. Generally, you want to use while loops for things that you don't know about when they're going to end, how long they can run for. And you want to use for loops for things that you know how long it's going to take. For example, if you want me to do push ups and you don't know how long I'm going to get tired, you want to say something like, while not tired, keep doing push ups. Okay, and then that way, while loop just keeps running till the person is tired. And then once the person is tired, it stops. For loops, you would you need to specify a range. So you would say, do 20 push ups, and then you can stop. So you would use a for loop for that. Okay, while loops, you don't know something. For loops are better if you know something. Okay, but I'm gonna right now show you a while loop that mimics a for loop. Okay. So I want something to happen hundred times and then I want it to stop or something. Okay, so let's just start with a simple example that counts. So let's say I want to do okay, so let's start off with this. I want to say my count is zero, I start off with something that is at zero, and then it keeps printing something up by one. So I'll say, how long do I want to run for? Okay, let me add at the top here in the while loop notes for you guys. Uh, again, I'm using REPL.IT. So then when I'm done making these videos, I can actually post a link so you guys can actually go through the notes yourself. So I'll put all these notes, I'll aggregate these notes and uh, put it in the links below and then you guys can just use them. Okay. So while and then some condition. And then if that condition is true, true, then then body right or then this and then it keeps looping okay it keeps looping back and forth but once it's out of it when the condition is false then it ends so it's like an if statement but it keeps happening over and over again so if you want an if statement to keep asking some question that's how you should think of a loop all right so i'm going to say and remember uh just so you know condition example would be like uh five is less than six. This evaluates to true or false. Okay, so this evaluates to true. Right? Five is less than six. Another example would be another example would be six is greater than five. Or let's make it so it's like this, this evaluates to false. So conditions are everything that at the end of the day evaluates to true or false. So if you took this condition and put it in here, right? This for loop, this while loop will like run forever because it'll always say five is less than six. All right, now let's keep going. While count is less than how many times would we want to run? Let's say we want to run a hundred times then I want to print what the count is. And what else do I want to do? If this statement says zero is less than 100, it'll come down here and it'll print out, right? So for example, in the start, I made count to be zero. So if I do this and put zero for count and zero for count here, it's going to print that out to the screen. And then what's going to happen? Once it's done printing it out to the screen, we are going to go back to this loop and it's going to ask it's going to put condition here again right or yeah sorry count is going to put count here and we're going to have count here it's going to check this statement again and again we're going to have zero for count is going to ask the question is zero less than 100 it's going to evaluate to true then it's going to execute this part of the code which says print zero because count is zero and then it's going to print out zero again then it's going to go back to the condition is going to check if count is less than 100. Since count is zero again, it's going to go back here. It's going to say print zero. Okay. Now I'm going to run it and watch what happens. I'm going to stop it. 
and I think I might have crashed my computer. <laughs> hey there. Uh, so my computer just kind of crashed pretty bad, but hopefully that gives you a little sense of what happens. I should have ran this in my terminal, but it, yeah, it took it like 10 minutes to come back and I had to rewrite the notes and everything. So let, let's go back. So this is a problem called infinite loops where you write something where it doesn't match the condition. Like this thing, if it doesn't ever turn false, your loop is wrong, okay? If that thing doesn't turn false, your loop is wrong, all right? Because that means that your loop is going to run forever unless you put in this thing called break. But I don't want you to do that. Generally, that implies poor logic. So let's just keep going through this, all right? So we want this to turn false at some point and we don't wanna keep printing at zero every time, right? So what should we do? If we leave this at zero, it's this, right? If I leave this at zero, this whole thing is gonna evaluate to false. If this is, and it's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is, if th this is gonna evaluate to true every time, okay? It's gonna evaluate to true every single time because zero is less than 100. Now, it's gonna keep saying true and the loop is gonna keep running. If I change this to five, this thing is gonna evaluate still to true. If I change this to 90, this whole thing is still gonna evaluate to true. What happens if I change it to 99? It still evaluates to true. Now, what happens if I change it to 100? This part of the code evaluates to a false and we uh, are done with the body of the, uh, we're done with the loop and therefore we don't execute the body of the while loop, okay? If I needed to add something else in my notes for the while loops is this, go back to while loop, right? I would, if this condition is true, then do this and then go back to the to top of while loop. Okay, so we want this thing to turn false at some point. Here's how we're gonna do it, okay? I'm going to say count is equal to count plus one. So I'm just gonna add one to count every single time. How you read this is that what count, new count is what count previously was plus one. So the first time we go through the loop, count is zero, it prints out zero out to the screen. Then it prints out, then count, then what it does is it says count is equal to count plus one. So it says count is zero, plus one, so the new count is now one, okay? Then it goes here and it goes, okay, is one less than 100? Yes, it is, so it prints out one, then it goes here and this really says count, count is equal to count plus one. So it says one plus one is two, then it makes this guy two, right? Then it goes while two is less than 100, print out two, and what it says here is count plus one, count is now two, so two plus one, you get three, three. And while count is less than 100, count plus one, then count turns to three. And this part turns to three, it prints out three. This part turns to three, you get four. And then ultimately when it gets to 100, it stops. So let's just print this out and let's run it. And you can see it went from zero all the way to 99 and then it stopped. Now, what if we wanted to do something fancier, right? What if we wanted to do something where it goes from 100 up to one and then instead of printing out zero, it prints blast off. So I want you to try that challenge and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So you can pause the video, try it yourself and then watch this part. Uh, I'm gonna do, this stuff in my terminal because I don't want stuff to freeze because it's really annoying and then I have to redo the whole thing again when it freezes on rebel.it. So, but I will put all of these notes for you guys at the end of the day. So if I do a while loop, right? So let's try it from, you go from 100 all the way to one and then it stops. First thing I wanna do is since I wanna print out from 100, I don't want count to start off from zero. I want the count to start off from 100. 
Another thing I have to keep in mind is instead of incrementing, I have to decrement. So I have to account for my comparison operator flipping as well. So I'm gonna do while count is greater than zero, right? Then do something. So I'll say while well, count is greater than zero, print count. And I wanna do count is equal to count minus one. Now let's give it a try. And you can see that it prints all the way up to one and then it stops, so that's good. Okay, now I wanna write a statement where once it's zero, it prints off blast off. So let's uh, write those lines of code again. So I'm gonna say this, I wanna say this guy, I wanna say, do this and then decrement. But I want to do something special this time. I wanna say if count, uh, whoops, let's just type it up again. Well, count is greater than zero. If count equal equals zero, I want you to print, see if you can catch the error in this logic, but print blast off. Otherwise, I want you to do what? I want you to print count, right? And I want you to decrement regardless of anything. So I want you to do count minus one. So this part is not in the if else block because I want this part to happen no matter what we do, okay? So I could either put it in my if block and in my else block, or I can just choose to put it outside. And that's what I've chosen to do. And you can see it grows from 100 to one, and then it prints, why doesn't it print blast off? Hmm, that's weird, right? What's the logic there that it's not printing blast off? Well, let's think about it. We have this situation here, right? We have um, this greater than sign here. So the only way the body of the while loop runs is if this condition evaluates to true. Well, what does this condition evaluate to in this case? It evaluates when count is zero, It this whole part evaluates to false, right? When count is zero, that part evaluates to false. If that part evaluates to false, the while, the body of the while loop does not run. So when our count becomes zero after it gets decremented on this line, then count zero greater than zero returns false, which means that this if condition doesn't run, therefore the blast off never runs. So we wanna make sure that when count is zero, the body of the loop should run, this part should run, it should print blast off, and after that it should not run again. So here's one addition that we need to make to our code, okay? So let's go back and type count this, Right, the only addition that we need to, the only thing that we need to add to our code is make count is greater than or equal to 100, okay? And then everything else we can keep it the same. If count is zero, then I want you to print blast off. Uh, else, I want you to print out what count is, and then I want you to decrement count regardless, right? I want you to decrement count regardless of the situation. Let's run this. And you can see that it goes, let me make it bigger or something for you guys. And you can see it goes from 100 all the way, or sorry, 100 all the way down to one. And then ultimately it says blast off. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of a better idea of how while loops run. The codes will be down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.